Warning, MF Uncensored contains adult language and discussion. Listener discretion is advised. We're a couple of misfits. We're a couple of misfits. What's the matter with misfits? That's where we fit in. We're not that being dilly. Don't go around with me. Hello and welcome back to MF Uncensored. Don't forget, you can take us on the go with Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or any other listening stations. Don't forget, check out our content on themisfitfaction.com, as well as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, basically all the social medias. Just look up MF Uncensored, The Misfit Faction, or if you want to, you can also do Multiverse Fancast and Cinematic Adventures. So, today... We have a nice topic for you guys. We're continuing with our 90s themed month. So, Paul, how are you? I'm good, Ronnie. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Just sitting here waiting for you to introduce me, dude. I, mean, I did, dude. No, dude. I'm Sweet. a dude. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very 90s in here today. Yeah, so, like I said before, we're sticking with our 90s theme. And today we're talking about TV shows. Now, we realize there's a gazillion TV shows, great TV shows that aired during the 90s. Now, I know you don't want to listen to us for seven hours, so we're really only going to be talking about some of our favorites, but we'd like to hear some of your favorites too, so make sure when you listen to this, you drop a comment or something like that when you share it, oh my God. share your shows. This list, That'd alone be cool. ju- this list of just Nickelodeon ones is like 60 different shows. Yeah, right. And we're not just sticking to like wow. Nickelodeon, even though those were the shows we watched when we were kids, like all your other like network shows and stuff like that, like, you know, that were on Fox, NBC, ABC, we didn't really watch in the 90s necessarily because we were super young and we couldn't, but we saw them when we were older. But Paul, let's get things started off. When you think of a 90s TV show, what do you think of? Pants. I panicked. I wasn't ready. Pants? That's Pants. A, that was That's a great a good, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, for me, I would say I jumped to something like Boy Meets World first yeah. and foremost. Like Boy Meets World is one of those shows. I think it started in the later 90s, mm-hmm. but um, I think they graduate high school in like 19 – because I remember Mr. Feeney goes, 1998, like, yeah. instead of just 1998. But uh, that was a show that like grew up with us. We grew up with, and that was what a lot of these shows were at the time. Yeah, they uh, these shows were '90s shows were very interesting. When you had your serious sitcoms like your Seinfeld, you had uh, well, serious, you know, for well, Seinfeld. Yeah. But you know what I mean, uh, Frasier, stuff like that for like the adults. Yeah, you had Friends, you know, which is a little bit above us, but you mm-hmm. know, we were kind of about to get into that generation. Yeah. You know, producer Melanie loves Friends, which will you know, I'm sure we'll talk about at some point. Yeah, but Boy Meets World is one of those shows that grew up. As we grew up, and it tackled things that we were going to tackle in real life. Yeah. Um, they weren't much older than us, I don't no. think. But um, yeah, that was, when I think the '90s, Boy Meets World is one of the shows that I jumped to immediately. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Uh, for me, it's it's a tough one. It's probably Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's a good one. That is a good I, one. I, I think to me that's like a staple when it comes to sitcoms from the '90s and everything. I think you know. That's not, and that's not even like one of your adult ones because that one too was geared towards like teenagers. Yeah, you know, it wasn't geared towards kids. Boy Meets World was geared a little more towards like your kids, but Fresh Prince was more for like your teens. And I think that that show I think goes down as one of the greatest shows and most successful of all time. I I can I can get behind that. Yeah. What about uh, uh, did you see the the remake Bel Air? I did not. I watched I, the whole first season. Did you? It's actually not bad. Uh, see, I saw it and I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to taint what I have of Fresh Prince by watching because it didn't really look too good t- for me to watch, really. So I was like, uh, let's wait until it kind of comes out. I know their season two is something yeah, coming they're, out they're working or on is it. out or something like that, I right? Like that. So what about uh, Saved by the Bell? Yeah. Talk about it. That is the quintessential children's yep. show. That again, that's another show that exploded though in popularity. Yeah. Then you like you hear all the horror stories, you hear the stories behind the scenes. You know, yeah. I think Dustin Diamond did that whole uh like behind the bell and they yeah. all hated him for it because like it wasn't true for the yeah. most part. But it, it's wild, you know. You think of shows like that, like all the things that happened in the background. Oh yeah. Oh god, like it's terrifying. Like we I th- who are we talking about? Talking about somebody some child actor the other day. You know, obviously um Aaron Carter. 
you know, yeah. died recently. Yep. You, know, you can only imagine what some of these kid actors went through, mm-hmm. or like kid celebrities. Yeah. Like, I can't even imagine uh-huh. how they're not all just totally messed up. Yeah. It's but crazy. Th- then you get uh, A Christmas Story, A Christmas Story that, that just came out. And the, the dude who plays Ralphie looks the exact same, just yeah. with wrinkles. It's yep. wild. That is. But anyway, what about, what about you? Go ahead. Um, let's see. Well, another good one. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to think of shows that I watched when I was younger. Not mm-hmm. 90s shows that I've you know watched As after. As like, yeah. You know? Um, so I would probably have to say all that. All that's a classic. All, all that. All that was sketch, SNL. It yeah. was SNL for us. It was SNL for kids. It was a little sketch comedy and everything like that. Um, and, you know, did it really give anyone a career? Keenan Thompson? Pretty much. I that, mean, Ke- that's about Keenan and Kel got super popular. And yeah. like, you know, obviously, they had their show, Keenan and yes. Kel, which was so good. And, you know, be- one of the best theme songs of all time. Oh, yeah. And they, you know, they had the Good Burger movie that mm-hmm. they kind of exploded with. So for a while, like, some of these stars would get really big after yep. doing some of these like these shows, like uh, Amanda uh, Bynes. Amanda Bynes, yep. You know, she got her own show, and then she went batshit yep. crazy. Yep. Like, wildly <laughs> crazy. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Keenan and Kel was great. I loved Keenan and Kel. Yep. I loved all that. It, it's a little weird watching it, like, as an adult. Like, watch, oh, watch yeah. Like, it, they, they did the... Um, the all that reunion where they yeah. had like Josh Server come back and all of them, yep. and that was the best one. Like he pushes the kid out of the yeah. way to do the musical <laughs> guest. Like some, sometimes it's really funny, but yeah. we're also in that re- this really weird time of nostalgia, yeah. like of bringing back properties or revitalizing. Like as I'm looking at the list that we're reading off of, they just showed a trailer for the new Teen Wolf movie based yeah. off the show that got canceled years ago. Yep, like th- it's a weird time that we're living in, and I'm, I can only imagine what else they're gonna try and bring back. Yeah, I mean, uh, Girl, Girl Meets World came out. Yep. Girl, Girl Meets World. I know they had um, that that's so Raven. They did they did two Raven. spinoffs. Yeah, they did Corey's, Corey's, Corey's in the house. house. Corey in the house. Corey in the house, and, and then, then Raven's home. Raven's home. Yeah, I don't like. You know. I don't really like Raven's. Movie. No. Mm. no, I watched that so Raven though as a kid. Oh well, yeah, you know. But uh, let's go back to Nickelodeon really quick. Clarissa explains it all. Mm-hmm. Na, 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 na. Again, yep. all these really nineties were a great time for theme songs in oh, general. Yeah. Like, you know, we talked about it a little bit with the uh, the animated stuff, but yep. oh my god, like they did some great just great Yeah. So did you watch Clarissa Explains at all? I wasn't a huge fan of it, mm. but I would watch it every once in a while, you know. Um wasn't my cup of tea. What was the, the brother's name? Ferguson. Yeah. Oh god, he was just like revolting. Yep. Oh man. And then he, she had the uh the best friend who would climb through her window. Yeah. S- Sam? Yeah, Sam. And Sam. like the like a guitar riff would play every time. I don't know who did it better, her, him or Dawson. Yeah, yeah. The Dawson that was a weird. Sh- Dawson yep. was the most unlikable character. A thousand percent. I think I actually had this. I think it was Brendan who who argued with me that I said that Dawson Leary was the most unlikable TV character of all time. Really? Yeah, I think I think his wife really likes that show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, think I, I wonder what his argument. Who he thought? I don't know. I'd have to, I'm not, I would have or to. If he co- just argued the fact. Quickly do a distraction yeah. while I. <laughs> so I'm I'm going to continue with. I think what might be a forgotten show for many. Okay. Dinosaurs. Oh, man. Yeah. The original TGIF. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Only had four seasons. You know, um, again, it was one of those. It came out in 91. So when it came out, I was two. So I didn't really watch it. Well, that was like Full House then, for us. But, like, yeah. You know, Full House. Michelle Tanner's only like a year or two older than us. Yeah. So, you know, like it wasn't show. It wasn't really a show that I watched when it came out, but when I was still a child, I remember watching it. Um, but to to me, that's a that's a nice little gem right there. That um, what the heck is Fraggle Rock? Fraggle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, going back to dinosaurs really quick, the most depressing ending of all time. Yeah. Like for those, I'm sorry, mild spoilers for this mid '90s TV show. <laughs> But uh, the dinosaur, like, because that was another show that became, like, super iconic for uh, the baby. Yep. Baby. I'm the baby. Gotta love me. Yeah. Like, all that. Like, that baby was everywhere oh, in the merchandising. Yeah. But the show ends with, like, they caused the, the extinction of the dinosaurs. Like, yep. that family. And then they all just freeze to death. Yeah. It is so depressing. Oh, oh yeah. man. I gotta lay down. That's a show that you have to watch when you're an older kid. You know, yeah. that's one that you can't really watch when, when you don't really understand 
concepts. Well, it's funny because like we talk about TGIF, like that was like for it was we were a little a little younger than the the target demographic, yeah. but like we were still old enough to enjoy it and stuff yes. like that. Because like I mentioned, Boy Meets World kind of grew up with us, and then yep. you know there were other shows, and we have to talk about arguably one of the more iconic ones, Family Matters. Yeah. Man, talk about a show where the side character completely took control of yes. it. Steve Urkel was an icon. Can I do that? Oh my god, you could not, <laughs> could not, yeah, like not see a Steve Urkel product in. Uh huh. And I can only imagine, like Jaleel White probably got totally screwed over with this contract. Oh, I'm sure. Because like, who would have thought he was only supposed to be in like one season? Yeah. Like not even like maybe even like one episode, but and, they just loved him. And now he's. One of the most iconic characters mm -hmm. of all time, all time, I would say. I wouldn't even say, you know, in the show, obviously in the show, but I mean, even today, people are quoting, Did I do that? Mm -hmm. You know, with the voice and everything. Um, yeah, you but, can't be a 90s kid without knowing about yeah. Steve Urkel. Like, he, oh, he yeah. crossed over to um, Full House. They did an yeah. episode where he went over there to talk yep. about uh, Stephanie's new glasses. Yeah. That's but yeah, right. he was only recurring in the first, like, I think the first two seasons? No, the first full season. Okay. But poor Jaleel White. Did you ever see uh, Big Fat Liar? Yeah. Man, they make fun of that so much. Mm -hmm. Like, just the fact that, like, you know, this is what he did. And yep. everybody knows that this is all Jaleel White's really famous for. Yeah. And that's it's not us being trying to be mean or anything, but, like, yeah. But I mean, it's true. It's, I mean, you can't think of really anything else that he's really done, you know, to... Uh, at least I can't. I don't know. No, probably a lot of small things. But yeah. uh, we also have a. Do you remember Teen Angel and You <sighs> Wish? You know what? It, not You Wish, but Teen Angel does sound very familiar, and I feel like I definitely have seen some. So there, so they weren't the same show. Just well, so yeah. clear. So <laughs> basically, at the end of TGIF, they tried to just kind of move in, like move things in and out, and uh, spring and winter time. Mm -hmm. So in the fall and winter, they had Teen Angel, and in the spring, they did You Wish. Okay. Teen Angel was about this kid, like two friends, and one of them dies, and yeah. becomes the kid's guardian angel. And yep. it's it was an interesting show about like uh, you know mortality and death and God and all that stuff. So and then You Wish was about a family that gets a genie or something like that. I yeah. like I vaguely remember watching it. And we're again we're in an awesome time where we can actually just like go online. Some of these things we can actually just watch like on YouTube and stuff like that. It's wild. Yeah. But any other like what, what's there, like an obscure one that you have? I mean, it's not too obscure, but it was at least my introduction to a crush of mine. Oh, boy. So, my my crush, Jessica Biel. Really? Jessica Biel's your crush? Back, back, Seventh Heaven. Back in Seventh Heaven, yes. Back then, she was. Now, I mean, okay, she's, still, right, right. she's still really good looking. She but, is. But, I mean, back, back when that show was going on, again, that came out in 96, you know, so I was, what? seven but obviously i wasn't really watching because it was on for 11 seasons though puberty so, started a little early for yeah Ryan. exactly you know but that was my introduction to uh jessica beale um and a little crush i had at the time you know when i was younger and going through that stage of life <laughs> <laughs> but that 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 to me is another show that's like family oriented and every you know kind of like a boy meets world you know in a way but a little bit more, you know, religious in a way, but not like it wasn't like super religious, which is terrible now considering what the dad got in trouble for. Yeah, oh, God, that was yeah. a huge thing. Mm -hmm. But anyway, well, we're not going to talk about that. Anywho, uh, I remember watching Seventh Heaven. It was never really like like it was on, and I would see it, but yeah. it was not. At least like for the the benefit of that, like they had. Something for everyone of every age. Like you had yeah. the older brother, you had the sporty sister, you had the awkward sister, you had the youngest brother, brother, and then the little, little one. Yeah. And the dog. And the dog. Can't Who's forget the dog. The dog was in the credits. Yeah. I think Happy or something like that. Yep. Happy. What a stupid name for a dog. No, it's not. It's... So you can't do <laughs> a generic term, something that you use all the time for a dog's name. They're going to keep thinking you're talking about him. I'm really happy today. Burr, not you. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Imagine that was your talk's name, Quiet. quiet. <laughs> where's, uh. a, where's a quiet place? <laughs> but yeah, you want to take a quick break and then come back? Let's take a quick break. 
Hey guys, it's Paul and the Misfit Faction is looking for your help. We are trying to grow not only our network, but also grow our brands. And the best way to do that is if you guys are looking to start your very own podcast. Maybe you guys have been listening to us for a while. Maybe it's something you guys have always wanted to do, but you're not sure how to get started. If you go to podbean.com slash Misfit Faction, you guys will get a month of free podcasting on us. That is a gift from us. So make sure if you guys are looking to start your own show, you reach out to us and go to podbean.com slash Misfit Faction. Also, maybe you guys have your own online business or service that you're always looking to grow and advertising is a very big part of that if you guys go to sponsorship.podbean.com slash misfit faction you guys can get a hundred dollars worth of free advertising again as a thank you from us to you guys that's sponsorship.podbean.com slash misfit faction welcome back y'all hope you had a nice break welcome back y'all <laughs> welcome back Kata. <laughs> Yo, oh man we live in new york y'all so, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, welcome back, you all. Hey, yo, welcome back to this uh, <laughs> internet radio show. That's how it's New York called is. called a podcast. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> mozzarella. Yeah. All right, so... How uh, people think we talk. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, th- th- those to me are some of... I mean, I don't know if you have any more of, like, when we were kids watching shows. I, I have a list of, like, 9,000. Yeah. I said that in the beginning. But... You really want to go over all 9,000 is what I'm saying. You know, there are a few more that I would love to talk about. And all right. We've only done 15 minutes of recording, so... Well, I was going to go with more shows that we watch currently or... When we from the old. 90s? Like from the, the 90s. Shows. That's a thing? We can do that? Yeah. You know, the beauty right. of Netflix it's and wild. Hulu. You know, one show we did not talk about, shockingly? What? Power Rangers. Oh. Oh, my God. Talk about a show that, yeah. like, Power Rangers was all, was compared to South Park at one point. Yeah. Like, Power Rangers was, was known for its its martial arts and violence and all that yeah. stuff. But it's funny because people talk about Power Rangers still because Power Rangers has been on for, like, 30 years now. Forever, yeah. And, unfortunately, Jason David Frank uh, passed away today. As at the recording. time of recording. Yeah, yeah, at the time of recording, passed away today. But um, if you watch the original – because – Shows that we've rewatched, you know, because yeah. Power Rangers is rough to watch. Uh, like now, like as adults, you're like, oh man, I, it's, it's one cringy. of those like so cringy. How did I like this when I was younger? My, you know, my biggest qualm is uh, why aren't all the putties just attacking at once? They're all just standing around the, doing martial arts. You know arts what's funny is that happens in every single show or movie. It's like psst, there's thirty of you and three of them attack just, more than one at a time yeah right just go all at once the only time it actually really worked was the matrix reloaded when he fights all the smiths like yeah. at least that one worked a little bit better but yeah they're still just standing in the background doing martial yep. arts <laughs> <laughs> i watched the uh the honest trailer for ninja turtles 2 and he points out that there's uh-huh. just guys standing in the lab just doing martial arts in the background <laughs> and they're just moving their hands around but um that's funny oh yeah some some wild stuff but if you watch the original Power Rangers, they, they actually put the rules in the very first episode that they yeah. weren't allowed to go big before the enemy yeah. did. Like, so basically, because they could end the show. Let's just get the Megazord and step on it. Yeah, right. Like, th- there's the monster. Kill it. Yep. They had to wait till the monster was too strong. So they had like that was part <laughs> of their rules in the beginning. Yeah. But yeah, Power Rangers was wild. Yeah. We can't win until we start losing. Basically, yeah. Uh, never escalate a fight. That was the rule. Yep. But Power Rangers, again, we talked about Steve Urkel being a phenomenon. Yeah. Power Rangers was huge. Oh yeah. I and, remember having the little dragon sword. Oh yeah, I had all the toys, yeah. and th- those were like impossible to get. Yep. Um, but you know, it's even it's sad nowadays because you think you look back on that, and those kids got paid dick. Oh. Like they there was no yeah. t- they weren't in any sort of union. Nope. TV was a lot different back then. No Screen Actors Guild. No none of that stuff. Nothing. And they got paid like pennies. Like not even enough to really live no. on. Yeah. And they were shipped around the world. They were uh-huh. doing press tours and this and that. Like Power Rangers turned into a phenomenon. It and was those, child labor basically. Basically. And those that's why uh, Jason, Zach, and Trini left because yep. they were wanted to renegotiate for better contracts. Yeah. And they didn't get it. Nope. But then you also find out like David Jost got bullied for being gay on the show. Mm-hmm. Like – because, you know, that was the 90s. They didn't t- People didn't talk about stuff like that in the 90s. No. But, yeah, just just sad stuff. Like, yeah. And that's one of the things about 90s shows, especially, like, you look back and you're like, man, these poor kids. Yeah. Like, for our entertainment. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, and for us, they're like superheroes. Yeah. You know, we, we worship these kids. Like, it's it's wild to yeah. think back on it. But you got another show you want to talk about or you want to talk about shows that you've rewatched? I, I, let, let, let's shift shift gears a little bit. And let's talk about still 90s shows, obviously, but shows that maybe we didn't really watch when we were kids, but now 
we have watched or are watching. Okay. Um, so for me, one of those shows is probably, I want to say, one of my favorite shows of all time. And King of Queens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember watching it vaguely as a kid, but yeah. not, not very often. Yeah. But, but yeah. Kevin Ke- James. Like- Kevin James. Like, th- who would have thought that guy from that would blow up to be this big movie star? I mean, you know. He's a movie star. Is he big? I would say he's big. I would look say- at his net worth. He's big. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> but he- he's friends with Adam Sandler. God, imagine if just being friends with Adam Sandler. That's enough. That's all you need. Yeah, right. Which sucks because like ask Rob Schneider. Oh my God! <laughs> but it's funny because you watch like all of like all of his boys, Adam Sandler's. Like none yeah. of them can really hold a solo career. Oh come on, Paul Blart. The only actually the only <laughs> Kevin James movie that I, I will watch is Here Comes the Boom. That is a great I, movie. I think that's a pretty good movie. Um, but like Rob Schneider, he tried like with the animal and the hot yeah. chick. We love that. Melanie and I love the hot chick. Yeah. Uh, we think it's one of the funniest movies. It's Deuce bad. Bigelow. Deuce Bigelow. <laughs> that movie got a sequel, which is even wilder. Uh, oh. But those movies are all super quotable too. Like yep. I, I can't. <laughs> one, one day on Cinematic Adventures, we're going to do like shittiest movies of all time. Yeah. And just like the guiltiest of guilty pleasures. Mm-hmm. And oh God, that list is going to be fun. Oh yeah. But you know, for Kevin James, I, it's funny. Like he, there's the the greatest writing trope of all time is to have like the schlubby, overweight, lazy husband yeah. and the smoke show wife. Yep. Who puts up with his shenanigans and they're so in love. Like that is not yeah. anything new. Family guy does it. Mm-hmm. Um I think Adam Sandler even joked about it in Grown Ups too. He's like, yeah. you know, look at me, look at your mother. It doesn't make any sense. Yep. Unless it's like a Hollywood movie. <laughs> And that's just because they want the audience, their target demographic, to be like, that could be me. Yep, exactly. I can marry Salma Hayek. Uh, I mean, I like her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Depends, yeah. On, depends on how much talking she does. Yeah. Cause sometimes, I, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, just sometimes I don't understand what she's saying. Kind of like Sophia, Sophia Vergara. Yeah, you know, I never really got the, the huge appeal of her. Like, I no. think she's very pretty, but like, yeah. I was never like, oh my God, mm-hmm. my life has changed. Yeah. She wasn't like Sarah Michelle Gellar, who played Buffy Summers. Oh. Who? <laughs> See, that was my childhood crush. That's still my childhood crush. My wife knows. But you're not a child. Honey, we're sitting here in my basement doing a podcast. <laughs> so we're men. We're, we're, we have adult money, yeah. unfortunately. But we are. Yeah, that's about it. I have, I'm playing Pokemon after this. I got the new Pokemon game. I'm doing this. Scarlet? No, I got Violet. Oh. That was a gift from producer Melanie. Oh, very yeah, nice. yeah. So either way, I'm going to get both. So, so now, I was going to say, so now you go buy one for yourself. Yeah, no, no. It's all good. No, <laughs> I'm going to play the first one, then I'll, then I'll oh, switch gears. Fair. Yeah. That's another. I don't even think we talked about that during the cartoon one. I th- maybe we mentioned Pokemon. Maybe again, Probably. phenomenons. It's oh, God, wild, yeah. but uh, it's it's weird looking back now. Uh, so mm-hmm. here's a show that I did not watch at its time, but now I do because of producer Melanie is Friends. Mm, yeah, I never knew Friends. I knew of Friends, and I knew like the big plot, like the Rachel yeah. and Ross type thing, and I knew all that stuff. But like, I never watched it. But yep. um, producer Melanie is one of her favorite shows, so I was like, you know what? Let, I can get into this. Let me let me watch this to yeah. to kind of be on her level, and it's actually really funny. Yeah, some of it has not aged very well. No, but you know, a, a lot of these shows from them, you know, if you if they were to come out now, mm-hmm. I don't think they would be able to. I think they'd just be just the written, way... written differently. Yeah. Um, I think Friends would still work for the most part, just yeah. with the exception of a lot of the gay jokes. Yep. Um, but again, and we're not disparaging. It's just the 90s were a time where, like, gay meant more sissy, like, wimpy. Yeah. Um, and also men were super self-conscious about it. Like, yeah. nowadays, you walk through New York City, like, who cares? Like Exactly. But it's funny because... I watch Friends now, and for the most part, I still laugh at a lot of the, you know, not to be disrespectful, but, you know, they'll show it on TBS. Some, they don't cut out much. No. But there's, there are a few episodes that I'm watching, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Yep. Some things you cannot do. No. But uh, it's still just, like, those cast members make, like, $10 million a year. Yeah. Oh, smart. You know? I mean, we got a friends. We got friends Monopoly upstairs. And, yeah. Like, friends, <laughs> Melanie makes friends puzzles and Lego sets and all yeah. these things. Because mer- merchandise, and they got the um the little like pop up uh, museum type thing oh my or God, whatever. The, I wanted to get tickets to that. Yeah, like two hundred dollars a ticket. I was like, I don't want to go. Yeah, no, no thanks. No, no, no thank you. <laughs> no. I'll watch the show. It's on HBO Max. Exactly. Nine dollars a month. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I, um, I also think that all that all the streaming has really helped bring these shows back. Oh uh, yeah. But cause, like now we got shows that are getting remakes. Um, let's see, they yep. remade Roswell mm-hmm. on the CW Charmed. Yep. The forty four hundred. I was yeah. like, I wanted to watch forty four hundred, but I was like, I love the original show so much. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want to ruin what I've know about. Yeah. You know. Well, that was my trepidation with uh, Bel Air because also yeah. it is not it. It's got the same character names and it's yeah. got like similar story beats, but for it is different. Yeah. And it makes a lot more sense why he leaves Bel Air in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But I'll, I'll leave that too because I know you're probably yeah. going to watch it at some point. But um, speaking of shows that could possibly be canceled now, uh oh, that '70s show. Yeah, that '70s show is, I, I I think up there as one of the best from the '90s. I, um, it, again, that's another show that I didn't watch at the time. Yeah, and I've seen it now, and I also think that it helps that it is set in a very specific time period where only specific things could happen. Yeah. Because you watch some of these shows or things, and you, you have to explain it to like the younger generation. Like, oh, we couldn't do that back then. Yeah, right. Well, why didn't they just call them? We couldn't. Like, Buffy was on the other day. Yeah. And the bad guy pulled the phone line out of the wall, <laughs> and they're trying to call. And I think Buffy says, all right, thank you, operator. And I'm like, oh, my God, I need to lay down. <laughs> Did you ever call an operator? Did you ever have to use the operator? I don't think so. I think I did maybe once or twice as a kid. But, oh, that was a wild time, too. Yeah. The phone call and things. Did you ever yeah. do any of those? Yep. There was one for the Power Rangers movie uh-huh. where, like, to be an extra. Yeah. Oh, my God. The, it was, like, at the end of the episode of The Simpsons, like, on a Friday night, there would be a phone number that you had to call. Yeah. And, like, it tied up. Nobody yep. got through. I, I don't even think they actually got somebody in that movie. No, probably not. It's wild. That's another show. F- well... Technically, it's not the '90s because it's '89, but The Simpsons. That's not that's that's a cartoon. We already did cartoons. Oh shoot! But that's still another great one. You know what I love the, the... that we didn't watch when we were kids. No, no. <laughs> it's funny because I watched. I think I watched the Simpsons movie before I ever really watched The Simpsons. I think I did too. Actually. And then obviously, Family Guy was already out at the time, and we we're the Family Guy generation, yeah. which is crazy to think about. Yeah. But you know what I love though the knockoffs. How mm. everybody tried to copy successful formulas yes so power rangers it's just the easiest one when they then did uh, a show called the mass rider mm-hmm. they did big bad beetleborgs which i loved i love me some beetleborgs great theme song and vr troopers mm-hmm. and basically what they did was they figured out that if they took all this japanese footage that was already done then did half of it in with american footage they you saved, got the head show <laughs> you save the cost yeah but vr troopers came out and they ran out of footage because they went, they burned through it too quick. Jeez, what a t- what a weird time! Like, yeah, it's it's funny because you look back at some of these shows. And I'm I'm still scrolling through my list, but like, all right, you know what? The best ones though mm-hmm. that still hold up. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, yeah, that show still scared the crap out yeah. of me. Yeah, there's like three episodes that I just can't watch. Yep, because they are like legitimately terrifying. The I'm cold one. Oh, oh. god. Yep. Oh. Uh, and goosebumps. Yes. Yeah, thousand percent. Those are classics right there. Oh my god, yeah. And those again found all this new life mm-hmm. on uh, your streamers, all that stuff. Yep. What about some of the Disney? Oh, you remember? Do you remember uh, uh, famous Jet Jackson? Yes. Oh, Disney had a great afternoon. It was yep. like the Jer- You remember the Jersey? I don't think so. The Jersey was was about a, a group of kids. They get a, a hand me down Jersey. From, yeah. like, their grandpa's will or something like that. And it's, like, this sentient jersey that would actually transport them. Into, it was, like, Quantum Leap, where they would get transported into the bodies of famous huh. sports players. Really? Dude, you got to look it up. I don't think it's on um, on Disney+, Plus though. That's the only thing, which kind of yeah. sucks, because it, it was so good. Yeah, I don't but remember that one. You don't remember? Oh, man. It's no. sports. Sports. I know a sports thing, everyone. <laughs> but I'm yeah, so proud of you. It, like... It was such a weird show, yeah. But like, really good. I love the famous Jet Jackson. How about so, oh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? So I watched it because um, I you? it is one of my favorite movies of all yes. time, like that series. But um, yeah, I uh, I remember watching the show, and like I I don't think I watched it like religiously, but I because mm-hmm. at the same time they were still making spinoff movies. Yeah, because they did Honey, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid, Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Yeah. So it was all like in that time period. So I think as a kid, it was confusing to me continuity wise. Because I was like, that's not Rick Moranis. Yeah. <laughs> not that I knew who Rick Moranis yeah, right? was. <laughs> that's not the guy I know the guy of. That's not the real dad. <laughs> they were all adopted. <laughs> what? But that was another big thing, making uh, TV shows based off of movies. Yeah. Cartoons were more popular. Like, they had the Men in Black cartoon and stuff like mm-hmm. that. 
Uh, did you ever watch So Weird? So Weird. I don't think I did, actually. I can't. I'm trying to think. So So Weird came out Which around the that? same time. It's uh, where, like, the girl is traveling around with her rock star mom, and they, they like, deal with uh, paranormal stuff. The okay. kid from Brink is in it. Really? Yeah. Huh. And it was, like, like it was, like, it was catching the X-Files, yeah. like, buzz. And we didn't even talk about the X-Files. That's another show that wow. came out around this time. We're talking more about kids' shows. Yeah. But X-Files was huge at this time. And mm-hmm. it's still, like, again, another franchise that they still every once in a while try and pump some yep. life into. But for me, like, So Weird was a terrifying show. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever watched that one, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's the jersey. Yep. Based on the book series, The Monday Night Football Club. Oh, look at that. Huh. Yep. Transported into the body of a famous athlete. Right here, oh, it included uh, Tony Hawk, Layla Ali. I don't know. The boxer. Muhammad Ali's yeah, yeah. daughter. Oh, sister, sister, and smart guy. Sister, sister, yep. I remember sister, sister. Sister, sister was mm-hmm. another one of those shows that tried to mature really hard in the middle of it. Yeah. So, like, if you watch, like, the first, like, season or two, they had, like, the very, like, almost Clarissa Explains It All type opening yeah. scenes. Like, it was funny and, and goofy. And then suddenly it goes to, like, this R&B, like, sister, sister. sister. And I'm like, I'm I'm feeling things. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but um, and they had uh the kid, Marcus, who was like following them mm-hmm. around, and then he turned into like the stud at so, the end because yep. that's how it worked. But I liked uh oh no Roger, that was it. Yeah, yeah. go home, Roger. <laughs> but smart guy, I loved smart yeah. guy. Smart guy tackled some friggin' issues. Yeah, there was the uh the episode of Smart Guy where like they almost get molested by like somebody they meet on the internet really? like that that was weird because like 90 shows would tackle huge issues yeah um boy meets world tackled drinking a lot that was like yeah. their big thing but then you get saved by the bell that tries to tackle dope yeah marijuana marijuana where they all freak out like i can't believe you smoke marijuana. it's like the rock star guy who's yeah. like there to do the promo he has like one joint yep oh no try it <laughs> <laughs> can't come on it's not that bad nowadays you got kids doing uh wax pens in the bathrooms at school and like yeah. high out of their minds it is wild Sad. but yeah i i really enjoyed like you look back at some of these shows mm-hmm. and at like their serious episodes yeah and you know a lot of times it's still it's still relevant it still holds up yeah which is a shame because like like i said the smart guy episode with the uh, with like the online pedophile that was like yeah I was, I think somebody, I was watching like a top 10 list or something, like a watch mojo list. I'm going to talk about stuff like this. And I remember that episode. I was like, oh my God, I, I remember that. That was the time where like, you know, the how to catch a predator was huge yeah. and all that stuff. Like that was when the internet really took on a life what of its own. Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, uh, and Boy Meets World also did like the, the prom night episode that they banned for a yeah. long time. That like you couldn't watch it anywhere. Yeah, a lot of those shows as they went on, they got a little bit edgier and edgier, and you know, I I think, I think that stuff is needed because a lot of times that's how nowadays too, especially that's how kids learn stuff Mm -hmm. is just through media, you know, not in school. So it is terrifying to think about. Like, yeah, we we joke, but we we grew up in the '90s. We started school in the '90s. We graduated in the early 2000s. How different. Yeah. Our lives would be if that kind of technology was around. Like mm-hmm. it is, MySpace was the huge thing. MySpace yeah. caused a, a, so much drama. Oh god, who's in your top eight? Not me. Well, I hate you. Then. Yeah, like, right. Oh man, like, that was crazy. Yeah, that, I mean, even social media didn't know what it was doing back then. No, remember Friendster? Yeah, Google Plus, like all these things that they oh, tried yeah. to make. Yeah, Live Journal. Live Journal. I'm terrified <laughs> to think if I actually had one and where it would be. <laughs> I remember I got locked out of my Twitter because I didn't use it, mm-hmm. and I couldn't figure out the password. And they wouldn't—they actually would not help me get into it because the email that I, like the recovery email I used, was out of service too. Because that's how long it was. Yeah. Like when we started doing Twitter for all all the yeah. multiverse stuff, like it, it was a pain in the ass. I finally remembered the password, Jesus. shockingly. And then I went through my Twitter and I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh I'm a loser. <laughs> oh my god, why is it all about me drinking alone on a Friday night? <laughs> oh man." Uh, uh, you remember uh, what about Sabrina the Teenage Witch? You remember that one? Yep. Did you watch that? No, I I wasn't into those kind of shows really when I was younger. Yeah, you know. Um, but I mean, I I knew about it. Well, that's another show that they you did, know. like a Bel Air thing, where yeah. they redid it, and it was like more hardcore. And oh, then it yeah. crossed over with Riverdale. Which did you give up on Riverdale? I gave up. On Riverdale. I gave up on. Uh, I want to say season four was the last one I saw, maybe. I, I it was like the Dungeons and Dragons crap. Yeah. Like I was like, I love Dungeons and Dragons, but yeah. this it was, is it was why is it making too. a cult? Yeah. 
But uh, any other shows you want to pop up? I know we, we've probably missed a ton. Um, I know just some shows that we missed. You know, Seinfeld. Everybody Loves Raymond. Um, That's another show that I watch more as an adult. Yeah. Uh, funniest uh, Everybody Loves Raymond joke ever yeah. is in The 40-Year-Old Virgin, where he comes in the box of uh, adult entertainment, and he's like, yes. this is, this is uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> It's probably not supposed to be in here. It's just a good show. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes to try and enjoy himself. And he ends up just watching that. Yeah. I think that was like the first time I ever really saw anything from it. And I was like, yeah. huh, that's funny. But yep. again, that's more of a, you're an adult now. Exactly. George Lopez was another one. George Lopez, yep. Thought, Home Improvement. Home Improvement, yes. Tim Allen at his, at his yes. peak. And now he's got the Santa Clauses out that I got to watch. Oh, that's right. That's the right. new one, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. It's uh, the beginning of November. All the Christmas movie movies are yeah. out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, one day we're going to have to talk about like Christmas movies in general. Because you know what I hate more than anything in a Christmas movie? Christmas music. Oh, no. I don't mind. I love Christmas music, but not before Thanksgiving. I digress. But anyway. I just don't like Don't it. trigger me like that. But uh, in like you'll watch like a Hallmark movie, and like there's the girl, right? Yeah. And she's like... My boyfriend doesn't care. He doesn't want to see me on – and the boyfriend's like, I'm closing a $10 million deal on Friday that yeah. would set us up for life. But I'm the bad guy, and you're going to go home and fall in love with your pumpkin you know, loving boyfriend? Yeah, right. Like Those movies drive me wild because they're always like, he doesn't care. He's working his ass off. Yeah, right. That's how you know you're an adult where it's like – Where you're working. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we had to we were just talking about having to cancel plans because we have to work. Yeah. And, most, and I think Sean was like, get that money. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Get that money. Friends are always around. Yeah, exactly. But uh, oh, what about two guys, a girl, and a pizza place? You remember that one? No. That was with Ryan Reynolds. That was right that before. Was a Van- show? Are you sure? No. Yeah. No. Right before uh, Van Wilder came out. Sounds like some sort of movie. Yeah. Hanging with <laughs> Mr. Cooper. Oh yes. man, yes. Mm-hmm. That was a good one. I'm, I'm just reading some of these, and they're fantastic. Space Cases was a big. I was a big fan of that yep. on Nickelodeon. Trying to think anything. Fred the TV show. God, shut up. <laughs> that was in 2012. What is this? This list gets a little weird. But I, I think Sean would get mad at us for not saying Frasier. I don't know if Sean actually watched Frasier though. I don't know, but I feel like he would get mad if we don't mention it at least. I mean, Frasier, you know, Sean. Sean's a very big nostalgia guy. It's funny though because we were talking about like obscure movies at breakfast this morning, mm-hmm. and Sean was like, "No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, we talked about Rocket Doodle." <laughs> Rock a doodle. Producer Melanie is one of her favorite animated shows, Rock a Doodle. Uh anything else though you want to bring up? Anything else on your mind? I don't think so. I think that that pretty much oh, what about this one? That was a big phenomenon. Okay. With guys and girls, but guys for a different reason. Oh boy. Sex in the city. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I will give you that one. I will give you uh, that is another show that became a phenomenon. Right? It it had a move. Two, right? Two, two, and then okay. a revitalized show. Yeah, um, it's funny because we were watching Hocus Pocus two, and I was like, I found Sarah Jessica Parker very attractive in the first one, but she is she's done a lot of plastic surgery yeah. since, um, and she just it's just not the same. No, it's not. What about she's no Jennifer Aniston? Oh my god, <laughs> like a fine wine. Like, yeah, holy right? crap, good for her. Well, when you make twelve million dollars a year from Friends reruns, yeah, right. Uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Ooh. Ooh. Deep cut. Science rules. Yeah. Still one of the best. Like when, uh, when they would wheel in a TV and you watch yep. that in science class, that was like Oh, peak. God, yeah. Oh, and there was nothing more 90s than that car, than that intro song. Yep. Bill, 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 Bill. Oh, God, still the best. You know what? I don't know what. What about Law and Order? Which one? All of them. I mean. If so, you... all right. Sean's going to get mad if he actually listens to the episode. I never watched the original Law and Order. So... I watched some of it. Not too much, but I'm pretty sure I, I watched it before I started watching SVU. Okay. Now, SVU obviously is like the staple. It's the top top one out of those shows. Um, you know, but Law & Order, I think, A, it's iconic theme. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, you still, know, it still is. You you don't have to be a fan of the show or really watch it, but when you hear the chimes dun, and stuff, yep, yeah, you're like Law and Order. Yeah, I'm I'm still more of an SVU fan. I think it was yes. on today, um, up until Stabler. Actually, up until Amaro left. Yeah, because I, well, I actually liked Amaro. They made mm-hmm. some questionable choices with him. Stabler's back now though, <sighs> and they're trying to put him and Benson together. I hate yeah. It. 
Uh, do you remember Brotherly Love with the uh, the Lawrence Brothers? Yes. Yeah, that was another show I remember watching a lot yep. of. Or uh, the Waynes. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's what. Uh, the Waynes <laughs> Brothers was a good show. <laughs> Canceling TV makes. Yeah. <laughs> Martin. Oh my God. Yeah, that was a good one. I don't think I was allowed to watch it though for some reason. I don't know. Like I feel like it was not a not a show for a young and like me. Oh no, I mean the, both of those shows were more geared towards like older teens and adults. Mm. And we weren't there yet in the nineties. Arguably, we may not still aren't. <laughs> but anyway, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Um, but anything? Any other ones that you want to mention before we wrap things up for I, today? I think that's gonna be it for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, again, we would love to hear your feedback. We know we missed numerous shows, I'm sure. So if you would like to tell us some of your favorites, just go on to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever, and just look up The Misfit Faction or MF Uncensored and just leave your comment about some of your favorite shows from the 90s um, and everything like that. Um And then don't forget to check out the website, themisfitfaction.com, when you get access to all of our podcasts, all of the blogs, our merchandise, and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Well, this was fun, Paul. Yeah, it was very nostalgic. It was sweet. Sweet. Dude. (laughs) But that's going to wrap us up for today. We will see you all next week. Maybe. Hopefully. I think so. We will. Don't you worry. Okay, bye. Bye.